How can White draw in this position? So right now, it looks completely lost for White. White is down by three points in material, and Black has a queen, and White's king is stuck almost in the corner. So first thing that comes to our mind is rook e6, he takes and trying to go for a fork, but it doesn't work because your knight is pinned. So you don't do that. What you actually do is knight d4. The reason why you do knight d4 is sacrificing it can be captured two ways. Let me show you. First, if you capture with a bishop, and that's probably the worst one, because you give a check rook a3, and he has to move here or here, and either way, he loses the queen. And it'll go on for, to be a draw. But, what if he takes with the queen? What you do now is rook a3 check again. After rook b5, rook, I mean king b5, rook b3 check, king c4, rook c3 check. And after here, what do you do now? Now it looks, what do you, I'm like, completely lost. You can't do any good checks here. I mean, that's a check, but it's not good. And nothing you can do. Well, you actually do rook d3. This is an amazing move. It looks completely lost or white. It looks like a crazy move. Like, wh like what? For the reason why it's so good is because it pins the queen to the king. Now, black must be thinking, but what if I just take it? Well, then it's actually a draw by stalemate, as you can see. Another thing you might think of is going queen b2. Uh for a main and one, but then you realize that the rook is pinning the queen to the king. So sometimes in games like these, you're gonna want to look for sacrifices that might might look crazy, but especially in games like these, you're gonna want to look for checks because checks in end games are gonna be your best friend. Check, 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 checkmate. And in this game, that's what White used to make it a draw. Thank you guys so much for watching and have an amazing day.